Hey, Shalom. I want to give all praise, glory, and honor to Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shah Bahashem, Recha Kodash, Yahweh being the true name of the Heavenly Father, who this word only calls God, and Yahweh Shah being the true name of our Lord and Savior, who this word only calls Jesus. Bahashem is in the name of Recha Kodash, is in the Holy Spirit. Double honors to our apostles and elders of Great Millstone that rule well. Peace, blessings, and salutations to the whole full elect scattered abroad. This is the brother you wanted on. All right, coming back with another lesson through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashim al Shah. And I pray that this lesson, all right, exhortation is edifying. Hey, and I want to begin at Psalms chapter 40. All right, Psalms, the 40th chapter, starting at the first verse. And it reads, uh, Psalm of David, I, patient, I, slot, yeah, I waited patiently for the Lord. He inclined unto me and heard my cry. See? That's the spirit that hey, we need to take in, man. We have to wait for your help, Bashim al Shah, because at the end of the day, it's the Lord that's going to give us, all right, our blessing. Your help, Bashim al Shah, is going to give us our rest, man. Okay? And uh, I also want to get uh, Psalms chapter 37, verse 9, and it reads, For evildoers shall be cut off, but those that wait upon the Lord shall inherit the earth, man. And that's another thing when you come into this truth, man. This thing is about waiting, it's about. Uh, uh, being patient, all right, and with patience, all right, also goes into suffering, man. Because right now, all right, we've been called to do a great work, but we also, all right, you know, just like a jail sentence, man. You know, we in prison and we waiting for our release date, man, because we still in captivity. So we have to wait upon the Lord, and that's one thing about the truth is waiting upon you. How about Shema Shah, patiently waiting for the Lord, man? Because like the scriptures say, Habakkuk, matter of fact. Let's get it. Uh, the book of uh, Habakkuk or Habakkuk, chapter 2, all right, verse 3, and, it's, and it reads, For the vision is yet for an appointed time, but at the end it shall speak. All right, speaking about these prophecies, and we're seeing these prophecy, prophecies being made known now, man. All right, we see, we're we hearing the rumors of war, all right? And it says, and it's, uh, I'm reading it again, For the vision is yet for an appointed time, but at the end it shall speak and not lie. Though it tarry, wait for it. Okay, so going back to you know the point of this lesson, man, waiting for Yahweh Bashmal Shah, waiting for these prophecies to come to pass, man. And it says because it because it will surely come, it will not tarry. Meaning that a hey, all these prophecies of Yahweh Bashmal Shah are going to come to pass, man. They will come to pass. And it says, behold, his soul which is lifted up is not upright in him. But the just shall live by faith, okay? And the just is going back to the elect, Lord, when we are part of that number, all right? And it says the just shall live by faith. And that's what you have to have. You have to have a great measure of faith in this wisdom, in this truth, in your walk, man. You got to have the faith knowing that, hey, uh, Yahweh Bashim al-Shah is going to make his great return. We just have to keep doing our works and wait upon him, man. Because at the end of the day, this is all Yahweh Bashim al-Shah's movie, man. This is all of the Lord's will at the end of the day. Everything that we're going to receive, everything that we are going to inherit is going to be in due time, man. Okay, this is the Heavenly Father's movie, man. At the end of the day, we have to be, okay, um, like the hey, like scripture said, endure hardness. As a good soldier, man, we're soldiers of Yahweh Bashim al Shah, man. So we gotta endure, meaning, hey, endure meaning wait, man. When you go into that word endure, it means to wait, man, to be patient, okay? And this is Sirach. This is Sirach chapter 39, okay? And I'm gonna start at verse 16. All right, Sirach or Ecclesiastes chapter 39, verse 16. All the works of the Lord are exceeding good. And whatsoever he commanded shall be accomplished in due season. Okay, just like how it tells you in Isaiah, the 55th chapter. And let's go to it right quick. Just to make a point, Isaiah chapter 55, Isaiah chapter 55, verse 11. And it reads, so shall my word be that goeth forth out of my mouth, and it shall not return unto me void, but it shall accomplish that the that which I please, and it shall prosper in the thing whereto I sent it. You see, so the words of Yahweh Bashim al the prophecies of Yahweh Bashim al will be accomplished, man. Okay, all right, and it will not return until Yahweh Bashim al void, man. So we have to, just like Romans the 15th chapter 4 verse says, the things that are written a fourth time are for our learning. So we have to meditate upon these scriptures and to know at our dark times, or not dark, but at our low times, we got to remember that everything will be in due season, man, according to your Yahweh Bashim al will, man. So 
let's get back to um Sirach or Ecclesiastes the 39th chapter all right the 16 uh the 16 verse again and it says all the works of the Lord are exceeding good and whatsoever he had commanded shall be accomplished in due season okay now let's go to the um 33rd verse and it reads all the works of the Lord are good and he will get and he will give every needful thing in due season and that's with us man if we low you know on shekels if our spirit is low or whatever the case may be hey the Lord is going to build us up he's going to give everything to us in due season man because it's your how about your mouth size movie man okay and let's let me try to get that due season man in the um in the blue letter all right this is matter of fact let me grab this pre this is galatians um this is galatians chapter six all right this is galatians chapter six verse seven and it says be not deceived you have about your shot is not mocked for what for whatsoever a man soweth that shall he reap also for he that soweth to his flesh shall of the flesh reap corruption but he that soweth to the spirit shall of the spirit reap life everlasting and let us not be weary in well-doing for in due season we shall reap if we faint not you see so in due season we shall reap we shall inherit we shall overcome if we faint not man so let's get to that word do all right let's see uh bear me one second baba kasha akim bear with me all right that word in do all right and the word is strong's g 2398 idios idios all right the word is idios and it means pertaining to oneself one's own belonging to oneself all right so going back to hey this is your how about your shah's movie and let me get season as well do idios okay season the word is Strong's G, 2540, Kairos, 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 all right, and it says, do measure, a measure of time, a larger or smaller proportion of time, hence, a fixed and definite time, the time when things are brought to a crisis, a decisive approach waited for, opportune or seasonable time, the right time, a limited time period, to what time brings, the state of the times, things and events of time so hey everything is going to be played in the right time but at the end of the day it's all to the heavenly father and his son's time man because th hey, this is their movie man we're all playing our role in their movies all right and, and you have about some outside movie man so it's a quick exhortation man that hey in due season all right we're going to inherit man in due season we're going to overcome man we're not always going to be on this low state man so that's why it's very important that we continue going hard for the lord man we continue serving him man we continue doing what's pleasing and you how about your mouth shot sights man because that's the only thing that matters man at the end of the day all right whatever you're going through overcome it man it's revelation 21 verse 7 says he that overcome it shall inherit all things man all right and you how about your mouth shot is going to give it to us man he is going to like it's like um like it says in psalms the 37th chapter the 9th verse man all right so you know this is a quick exhortation through the spirit and i pray that it's lesson with edifying and with that i want to give all praise glory and honor to yahweh bahashem yahweh shah bahashem rakakwadash devil honors to our apostles and elders of great millstone that we will peace blessings and salutations to the hopeful elect scattered abroad hey till next time shalom Baba. Call me out, Charlotte.